Okay, so I'm going to talk to you about making comparisons, and these are comparisons of things that are not equal. So we compare things that are different. Um, the comparative forms are mas, que, and menos que. Um, they can be used to compare nouns or adjectives. Um, so for example here, Lima tiene mas habitantes que Arequipa. Um, you can see right here. So right here, we've got habitantes. This is a noun. In fact, let's do it like this. Um, I will do the nouns in this red, and I will do, what else did I say? I said um, adjectives and blue. Okay. So Lima tiene más habitantes que Arequipa. So when you um, want to compare um, a noun, you're going to do más, noun, que, or menos, noun, que. So this is Lima has more inhabitants than Arequipa, and you can flip it and say Arequipa tiene menos habitantes que Lima. Um, Lima is más grande. Otra vez, here you're comparing um, an adjective. Whoops, wrong color. Here you're comparing an adjective, grande, um, and Pequeña. So you could say Lima is más grande que Arequipa. It's bigger than Arequipa. Arequipa is más pequeña. So you could do más menos and then your adjective. Um, some adjectives have special forms. You can say más bueno um, and you can change that to mejor. So I might say that, um, or I might say for example, Actually, let me make this smaller so it will fit. So I might say manzanas son más buenas, in my opinion, que naranjas. Okay, so I might say that manzanas. Manzanas are más bueno, buenas que naranjas, or I could say manzanas son mejores que naranjas. So you can use más bueno, or you can use the irregular comparative and make when that más bueno scenario comes up, you can change it to mejor. Um, malo can be peor, so I might could switch it around and say, here, maybe I'll move this over here. I might say that naranjas son um, más, oops, más malos, malas que naranjas, or, oh, sorry, manzanas, so naranjas son más malas que manzanas, they're worse than, or I could say naranjas son peores que manzanas. Okay, so whenever más malo comes up, you can change it to peor, and más bueno, whenever that comes up, you can change it to mejor. Um, older and younger is the same thing. So out of my three kids, um, I'm sure I've shown you guys pictures before, but here, I'll pull this down so you can see. Um, here's my three kids. So this is Owen, Lucas, and Caleb. So then I might say that Owen is más viejo que Caleb, which is the little red-headed one. Okay, but I could also say that as Owen is, oops, is mayor que Caleb. And I might say that Caleb is más joven que Owen, okay? But I could also say that Caleb is menor que Owen. And um, I think when you're talking about, in both these scenarios, you could you can use the regular form, but it tends to be more often used the irregular form, the menor, mayor, peor, mejor. Um, when referring to size, 
You can use um, one of two forms, mayor or más grande, menor or más pequeño. So that's when you're talking about someone being bigger, um, not in terms of age, but in terms of size. So I might say, um, Owen is más grande que Caleb, or Owen is mayor, or Owen is mayor que Caleb. Um, and then comparatives can also be used to com um, compare actions. Um, so I can say, oh, you know what? This was the adjective. I'm sorry about that. You should do that the adjectives right here. And habitantes are the noun. Um, then down here, you can also use your comparatives um, to compare actions, and you just put your más que together. So, Raúl trabaja más que su novia. So, if you're not saying that there are more inhabitants or something is bigger or smaller, if you're talking about how much someone works or how much someone eats, then you're going to put más que menos que immediately following their verb, which is what you see right here. Trabaja más que su novia. Okay, so let's do some practice. Um, la ciudad tiene, um, this plus means more, we're going to do the more than, and we're comparing ciudadanos, which is a noun. And so what we would say is, la ciudad tiene sorry about that, más, más ciudad ciudadanos que el pueblo, okay? And here we want less, and it's población, which again is a noun that has less population, so we would put um, el pueblo tiene menos población que la ciudad. Okay, now ruido is an adjective, and we said we do adjectives in blue. We're still going to put the más and menos on either side of the ruido, but the, the adjective now has to agree with the noun it describes. So we're saying that the town has less noise than the city. It's the town that is less noisy. Um, actually, in this case, it's still the noun. I'm sorry, because we're using ruido and not ruido, so, so um, has less sound or less noise. Um, so we'll do más... I'm sorry, menos ruido que el pueblo. La ciudad tiene blank rascacielos, that's still the noun. Um, so we're going to do more. The city has more. Más rascacielos que el pueblo. Oh, whoops, we already have the pueblo. Okay. Um, barrios pobres, again, this is still a noun. El pueblo tiene menos barrios pobres que la ciudad. Okay. La ciudad tiene, and this is still a noun, more theater, so you do más. Teatros que el pueblo, la ciudad tiene ur urbanizaciones, so we would, it's still the noun, so we're still going to do, I think it'll probably go here, más, urbanizaciones que el pueblo, and tranquilidad is still the noun also, so el pueblo tiene Okay, so here's another activity with más and menos. Um, it says, Gustavo tomó tres clases el semestre pasado. Roberto tomó dos clases el, semestro pas el semestre pasado. So Gustavo, if Gustavo took three and Roberto took two, then Gustavo took more classes than, so we need to put más here. And again, we're comparing um, nouns because it's classes. So we would just put mass 
right here. So he has more and then the noun and then the K. Mi coche tiene cuatro puertas. Tu coche tiene uh, dos puertas. Tu coche tiene menos puertas. Again, we're comparing a noun. We're comparing puertas. And we just need the K right here because it's menos than the noun than the K. Veronica no tiene tanto dinero como Paco porque ella trabaja. Here we're comparing how much they each work. So Veronica doesn't work. She works less than him um, because she doesn't have as much money as Paco. So when you're comparing the verb, when you're trying to say the, um, how much somebody works or eats, etc., then you say the verb and then either menos or más que and then the person with whom you're being compared. In this case, we're going to put menos because Veronica has less money than Paco. So Cecilia se ducha por 15 minutos. Yo me ducho por 5 minutos. Yo me, me ducho. Here we're comparing an adjective. And I had said before to put the adjectives in blue. Um, so you're going to, when you do that, what I'm comparing is how quickly um, we each shower. And so I shower more quickly if I do it in five minutes and she does it in 15. And so when you're making those, you're going to do mass. Then you're going to have your adjective. And then you're going to have K. Mi abuelo es muy activo. Corre más de... When you talk about, um, this is something that's not in your book, but whenever you have numerical expressions, when you want to say more than two hours, more than um, five miles, whenever you're talking about um, a numerical thing, when you're saying more than and then you mention a number, you use day instead of K. Oops. Okay. Um, hay tres parques en mi barrio. Hay cuatro parques en tu barrio. Mi barrio tiene menos. Again, we're comparing a noun here. We're comparing um, parks, that I have less parks than yours. So we have menos, noun, K. Um, Juanito estudia 20 horas a la semana. Yo estudio 10 horas a la semana. Juanito estudia. Here we're comparing um, a verb saying that we're talking about the frequency with which we both study. So if Juanito studies 20 or hours and I study 10, he studies more. So then you would have the verb and then you're in más or menos que. Um, Teresa es muy responsable. Paula no es muy responsable. Here we're comparing the adjective, the responsibleness of the two. Um, so Paula is um, menos. And when you do this, your adjective is going to agree with your subject. And there are two nouns when you're making this comparison. I've got Paola is menos responsable que Teresa. I've got both Paola and Teresa, but the sentence is about Paola. The sentence is always about the noun that comes before the verb. And so your adjective needs to agree. So if this was like simpatico, we would make it simpatica to agree with Paola. Um, Cecilia se viste en cinco minutos, yo me visto en dos minutos, yo me visto, we're comparing rapidamente the speed with which we get dressed. If I do it in two minutes, she does it in five, I'm going to put más here. Um, so when you compare adjectives, you're going to say más, adjective, and then you're going to put, um, um, actually in this case, it's an adverb. And when it's an adverb, you're going to still do the same as with adjectives, you're going to do más, adjective, adverb, K. Juanito habla inglés, italiano y español. Juanito habla uh, more than two languages. So when you're comparing, um, saying more than, and then you mention a number, you're going to put de. Mi prima Sara tiene dos años. Mi primo Juanito tiene cuatro años. Sara es, if Sara is two and he is four, she is más joven. And this is a scenario in which you could have done Sara is menor que Juanito, meaning she's younger than Juanito.